Hey, it's been a while since I made a video, but I want to talk about all of this shit that's going on right now with David Hogg, Emma Gonzalez, and all the shit with Laura Ingram, and the whole thing is just becoming a very ugly shit show. We've now reached the point in current affairs where attacking each other's sponsors, sponsor warfare, is now fair game. It's pretty funny how the View hasn't lost a single sponsor, even though they've insulted every Christian on the planet. It's really odd to me that whenever liberals say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, piss off large groups of people, there's never any repercussions for it. But Laura Ingram basically tweaked the guy. It wasn't even an insult. If you read the tweet, the tweet that she actually sent in his direction that set him off, it's not even really an insult. It's just kind of like flicking a booger his way. And his response was disproportionate to organize a Twitter boycott, which surprised me that it actually was effective and worked, uh, which means that we've, we've now crossed into very dangerous territory. You could shut down somebody's free speech, shut down their TV show. First, they did it to Bill O'Reilly, then to Eric Bowling. Now, Laura Ingram is on thin ice. Do you think that it stops there? They're going to go after Hannity. They're going to go after Jesse Waters. They're going to go after uh, Tucker Carlson. They're not going to stop until Fox News is so toxic that nobody wants to advertise there and the station either shuts down or switches to a liberal format. And think about that for a second. That happens. All the news that we get in this country, all of it, it's all going to be DNC propaganda. Every single scrap of news that you get off the TV, the newsprint, it's all going to be liberal propaganda. We have one conservative news station, just one, and it pisses them off to no end that it's actually the most watched station in the country. Because when people want propaganda, they tune into CNN. When they want to hear news, they tune into Fox. What I'd like to say about this is I, I've been on Twitter lately, and um, I've been following all the tweets, and the hashtag, I stand with Laura Ingram, is gaining ground, which is a great thing. It's good to use that often against all the advertisers that bailed on her to let them know you're losing our business. 63 million of us voted for Donald Trump, many of whom watch Fox News, and many of whom won't buy your products anymore. You have to let them know that that's permanent. We're not going to wait till the bad wind blows by and suddenly we're buying Hershey bars, we're buying uh, Nestle bars and, uh, you know, going back to TripAdvisor. This is permanent. You take that stance to silence free speech. We're done with you. We're not buying your products anymore. The hashtag, we're never coming back, should be used now pointed in the direction of, of those advertisers. And we have to put pressure on Fox News because they have been weak-kneed and spineless. They have cut the throats of too many of their talented commentators and tossed their carcasses to the hungry dogs. And we have to stop that. I know Fox is the only conservative news station out there, but if Laura Ingram gets fired, I'm never watching it again. And we have to start making sure that Fox understands that. Hashtag if Fox fires Laura, I'm not watching Fox. Well, maybe we can shorten that a little bit. I'll think about that. Anyway, David Hogg is a bully. He's a petulant little shit who thinks that he can go on national television, form these marches and alliances with liberal leftist groups, attack the NRA, attack good and decent law-abiding Americans, but then to claim to hide behind being a teenager. Bullshit. Don't, don't believe it. He's not a harmless teenager. He's a dangerous guy. He's a tyrant in the making. You can find me on Twitter. My Twitter tag is at Alpha Gator, A-L-P-H-A-G-A-T-O-R. And my dogs are barking, so I'm going to cut this short right now.